Okay. Damn your heat. Okay. Three genuine emerging DC keys. Three genuine emerging DC keys. Okay. DC key issues. DC Comics key issues. A key issue of a comic is a comic which a lot of people know what keys are in the comics. Which is usually something like a, a first appearance of a character, or a special enough cover, or a significant enough event. For example, apart from first appearance, the death of Superman in Superman 75, that's a key, because it's a major event in Superman's life and death. You know. So things which are keys for various reasons, which usually it's a first appearance, and for big characters, a second appearance is somewhat a key as well. So, three genuine emer emerging DC keys. Now, I've got two of the comics here with me. One of them is, is two, two covers. It's variant. But the first one, it's in my collection, in, in the Canberra collection, which is at my brother-in-law's farm at the moment in Chicago. But um, the first one is Teen Titans number 20. Teen Titans number 20 from 2018. So it's like Teen Titans Volume 4, 5, 6, some sort of volume of, volume of Teen Titans, but 2018 one. And it's the first appearance of Lobo's daughter, Crush. Now, Lobo, the other day, he just set the world record for, for his comp, the record, I suppose, for his, the highest price for his sale of his comic. Mega Man number three, his first appearance, $495 for a 9.8. I think that was the all-time record so far. As I know. It seemed to say it was a record on, I think it was on keycollector.com, I saw that information. And that was the record. Um, that's possibly been higher, but um, apparently that's for the record, $495 now for a 9.8, I think it was, the highest sale, so... Not sure that's really the record, but it's I, I, that's what I read four ninety five. So he's rising all the time as Lobo. There's a lot of speculation that Jason Momoa, who played Aquaman in the DC new movies, New Justice League, and the Aquaman movies, a lot of speculation that he's going to be Lobo in the DCU, James Gunn's DCU. Now Crush is Lobo's daughter in the comics, and just the way that Lobo is. Is continuing to get bigger and bigger over time. Um, it was quite big back in the early 90s when I was a dude. He's getting bigger all the time. And Crush is just a character which she's just going to emerge more and more. Not long back, there was a Lobo and Crush miniseries. And it's just one of those comics which is a genuine enough character. And she's pretty cool. You know, she's, she's kick ass cool, I suppose, like X 23 Wolverine's daughter and stuff like that. She's hardcore and she's cool, and it's just one which is a genuinely emerging DC key. Now, DC, of course, don't normally have as many keys as Marvel's. Marvel collectors are into keys quite a bit. DC, we are as well, but not normally as big a thing. But Teen Titans 20, 2018, first appearance of Crush. You can still get it at an affordable price. It's for, for a long term investment, it's a safe bet. Now the next ones, I'll save that one for last, but the next one is, I recently did a video a couple of years back or something on um, the three best bets for comic investments in the long term, three best DC bets I suppose, and it was first appearance of jo Jonathan Kent, Superman and Convergence Superman 2, I've got that just over there in my comic collection. And then Batman 655 first either cameo or full appearance of Damian Wayne, the son of Batman. And with the uh, Damian Wayne coming up in Batman the Brave and the Bold movie, that's a real high investment at the moment. But they completed the, the junior trinity, didn't they? The, the, the trinity of children. And it was in... Uh, That issue, Wonder Woman 800, which we saw the first appearance of Trinity herself, Wonder Woman's daughter. Now, um, 
As far as I can tell, Wonder Woman's never really had a daughter in the comics. And, uh, look, it doesn't take a, a, a rocket scientist or a brain surgeon to realize that Trinity, over time, is going to be a pretty big thing for the Wonder Woman collectors and for the Wonder Woman comics. She's, she's never going to not appear. And she'll have a comic of her own soon. Sort of, I think, somewhat like Punchline, and maybe even Miracle Molly, she's probably destined for pretty big things. Punchline, I'm pretty sure, or like Harley Quinn, she's probably destined for pretty big things. But Trinity, that's a genuinely emerging DC key. It's not too expensive still at this stage, and I'd be tr probably snapping that up in high grade, or even very fine grade is reasonable, but uh, it's genuine enough to be <laughs> pretty good one to get at this stage. I've got a cold. I've had a cold recently. Now, the third one. This one, he's not a huge character. It's a male character. He debuted back in 1987 in September. But uh, he's slowly emerging as a genuine DC key. He's not huge at this stage, but he's slowly emerging. And he's got the, you know, the Wolverine Punisher sort of Deadpool, Deathstroke appeal to me. Wild dog. Wild dog. Now, he's, he's appeared recently. Uh, it was in the, um, what is it? It has a cybernetic eye series. What is it? The character from Showcase, what was his name? The, written by the Chemical Romance lead singer. Um, someone has a cybernetic eye. I can't remember what it is. It was in that. But uh, Wild Dog, he's been around for DC since, like I said, September 1987. He had his four issue miniseries back then. I actually bought that when it first came out. Read that, read that as well when it first came out. Don't have my original copies anymore. But uh, this is a copy here. And he seems to be something which is, these days, slowly now starting to, to push a bit at, at sort of popularity with DC writers and things within the DC universes. I think this is what I would call a genuine enough key, which seems to be an, a genuine DC emerging key. I don't think you can really go too wrong in snapping this up for an affordable enough price and a decent enough grade. I'm pretty sure for long-term investment, it's prob probably going to be a pretty good bet. Nothing's guaranteed. I mean, Comet Tom says that. All, these, all those Comet people on YouTube usually sort of say, you know, we can't guarantee you know, it's going to be a, a genuine investment. But I think it's probably a safe enough bet. I don't think you'll lose money on it and quite possibly gain money. So there's three genuine DC keys as far as I see is concerned, emerging ones anyway. Cheers.